in today's video I will be installing this wig that I received from myfirstwig.com. This is their natural texture kinky straight wig. I got it in 14 inches and this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. As y'all can see the lace on this unit is absolutely beautiful. When I tell y'all I did not have to do anything to this wig, I did not have to pluck this wig and I did not have to bleach the knots on this wig at all. It came this natural looking. This wig comes as a natural clean hairline type of wig. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with no baby hairs. Just showing off that natural authentic hairline. You also get the option to wear this wig as a glueless wig as well. So I like to start off by cutting my lace into three sections and work on each section separately. So I'm trying this new product. This is the Even Firm Holding Gel. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply one layer of this gel. go in with my elastic band to secure my lace down make sure that the glue is fully glued down and also give that lace that extra melt look So here I'm just cutting my lace in a zigzag motion, but I'm also going along the lines of that natural hairline as well. So this is another new product. This is the Ebing Melting Spray. And basically in my other videos, I would use the Even Firm Hold Adhesive Spray, but this is just me swapping that product for the melting spray. And it melts really good. I would have to say that it definitely does give that nice hold. And it doesn't take long for it to dry up and melt in the lace.
now to make our hairlines look more natural, I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation in the color level 15. And this really just makes this hair look like it's growing from out of my scalp. I love this product and it really just helps to blend the lace with my skin tone. It just makes it look so much more natural. This wig reminds me so much of my natural hair. I have natural 4C hair and this is like the exact texture of my hair. Like from the roots of this wig, the way it looks, that kinky look up into like the actual like just texture of it overall. And I absolutely love that about this unit because I've had kinky textured wigs before, but this wig is probably the closest to a natural kinky texture wig that was close to my hair texture, which is 4C. So since this wig is giving natural 4C kinky hair, I'm gonna treat it like it. And I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer brush I forgot the name of it, I'll leave it in the description box. But I'm going in with my blow dryer brush just to help flatten down like that base of the wig, like the roots area. to get into styling this wig so I'm just gonna run through this kinky wig with my flat iron just run through it just make sure it's nice and flat nice and straight as straight as I could get it
I'm going in with my Luster's Wax Stick to really flatten down my hair, make it look nice and flattened, neat, and sleek down. And then I love going in with my blow dryer and brush to really help flatten down the hair. This process alone just really makes a big difference when it comes to making that hair look nice and flat. So we really want the base of the hair to look nice and flat, no lumps in it at all. So we are going to take extra precaution and go in and hot comb this wig section by section. So for this style, I'm gonna add some curls at the end of this wig, just like little slight bumped up curls. And when it comes to curls, you always wanna layer your hair just so you can get that volume. So I'm just layering my hair as if I'm doing like a just layered haircut. <laughs> so to achieve these slight curls, I'm going in with my one inch flat iron and just really bumping the ends a little bit. Like they're not even like real curls curls, it's like I'm just bumping the ends. So here we have the final look of this wig. Honestly, y'all, I could have convinced y'all that this was my real hair if y'all didn't just watch me install it. This unit is so natural looking and I just love the fact that it has that clean hairline look. Everything about this unit is really giving natural, even the texture of it. It feels just like my natural 4C hair and I absolutely love that. And y'all, I was getting so many compliments on this hair. People were like, I love your natural hair. Is this your natural hair? And I'm just like, is it? Like, if you have to question it, then it's my natural hair, right? 